today we're going to be looking at some of my most favourite plugins for um, After Effects. So the plugins I usually use, um, some can be used for Premiere Pro, um, so they're multi-format, if that makes sense, uh, Premiere Pro and After Effects, and some are just After Effects. So um, I've got a new composition set out and all I'm going to do is I'm going to add a solid just so we can have a look at some of these plugins, okay? So then I can go to my effects and as you can see I've got quite a range of plugins. Some are sort of um, not necessary but some I feel if you have enough if you're an After Effects user are really compulsory to basically own it. So um, the two main um, plugin people that I look up to are obviously Red Giant and Video Copilot. Um, they do some of the best plugins you can purchase out there basically. So. Um, yeah, so we'll be looking at uh, a few Red Giant plugins and we are going to be looking at some um, video copilot plugins as well. Most of these obviously you would have seen on other videos on YouTube, but hey ho, I uh, just wanted to do my own take on it and tell you what I prefer and what I feel uh, compulsory to own if you have After Effects. So, starting with um, the Foundry, obviously, you know, the I've got the camera track at all uh, from the Foundry. Now, After Effects does provide you with a really good uh, tracking tool. So I'm just going to import, um, let's just have a look for a video. Let's go to some stock footage. Um, let's have a look what we've got here. Um, So th th this is another um, example of video copilot. So this is a plugin as well, and obviously I will do a separate video on stock uh, plugins as well, uh, telling you where to get some really cool um, uh, stock footage, so on and so on, your uh, film projects. But for this video, obviously we're concentrating on uh, basic plugins or normal plugins for Alphabet. So. Going back to my first is um, obviously you know it's about trying out different things. Um, it's about using different programs. But like I say, um, After Effects does come with its own built-in camera tracker, and you can use uh, Mocha uh, if you've got Mocha uh, LE. Uh, sorry, After Effects CC comes with Mocha LE, uh, which is pretty cool. Uh, I've got a pro version because I use Mocha a lot. Um, but you know if you just want a really good Solid camera tracker, then the one from the Foundry um, sort of is the way to go. Um, I've always liked using this camera tracker because you can get some rather good results uh, from it. Um, so, all you would do is you would track the feature. Um, obviously, I can't track this because this is nothing really to really track on this. Um, but you would go to track feature, sole camera, create scene, so on and so on. So that is a, um, a recommended um, uh, plugin for myself to you guys uh, to uh, invest in uh, camera tracker uh, by the Foundry. So um, let's import um, a another scene. Uh, so let's go to uh, let's go to Phantom. And let's just drop this in here. Yeah. into a new comp actually. So we get the full uh, video. Okay, so okay, so this is some um, phantom footage. Let's just trim this up so we can work with this trim comp work area. Let's go to about here and trim that up. Right, this is just so I can apply some effects to it guys for you guys. Right, so um, Red Giant. Okay, so Red Giant, or the Red Giant Suite in general, 
um, if you go over to the Redjart website, let's just have a look here. Um, they provide you with the option to buy loads of plugins. It's basically a plugin master. So you can go to your products and you're presented with things like Trap Code, uh, Magic Bullet Suite, um, Shooter Suite, FX Suite, Kin Suite, uh, Universe, and Automatic Duck. Now, the beauty with um, things like Magic Bullet, this will work within um, After Effects and Premiere Pro. The same as a Shooter Suite. Um, as well, and you can use the FX Suite in Premiere Pro as well. Um, particular is limited to uh, After Effects, but you, if you do a, um, if you're working in Premiere Pro and you do an After Effects composition, obviously you can add effects, um, particle effects into your film project via After Effects. And that's how it's in Premiere Pro, if that makes sense. But um, looking at this in general, um, you know, you've got things like Denoiser, which is, you know, for grey magic bullets. Suite, which is one of my favorites. If you go to film, um, you can automatically get a really cool sort of film look. Um, let me just turn the sound off that. Uh, you can get an automatic film look straight away um, to your project, so on and so on. You've got amazing uh, plugins like the Effect Suite, which is really good, really good to looks. Um, and that you can go into edit, um, and that will open up another uh, window, as you can see here. And you can get some great um, pre 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 set up um, grading uh, for your films, um, or you can you know use your the tool palette to customize and grade your scene as you see fit. And the way you would do that is just basically drop um, them in and set it up the way you want, so on and so on. You know your LUTs, and just give you if I click OK with that. Um, it will change it automatically with the After Effects. So, some really interesting uh, color grading tools within the Magic Bullet Suite. Uh, it's, the, it's the most popular grading tool amongst uh, effects people using After Effects in Premiere Pro. As you can see, you know, color is here, allows you to uh, correct a bit of color grading um, straight away from After Effects and then you can transform that uh, back into Premiere Pro if you wish. So let's just get rid of these. Uh, let's get rid of the books. Right, so, and then obviously you've got other things like Shooter Sweep, you know, into 4K. Um, plural Eyes are used quite a lot, which is really, really cool. Plural Eyes basically allows you to sync your audio to your videos um, within a second, which is really, really cool. And things like the Red Giant Universe, which you can pay monthly for, um, you can pay um, uh, yearly for um, as well, uh, which is absolutely 100% worth uh, the purchase, without a doubt. Um, sort of things like um, Glow, I use a lot. I use um, GI Glow um, quite, a, quite a lot uh, in my projects. Um, another one I use is Overlight, um, just to give it that sort of cinematic look. Now just play around with the opacity on that side and so on. It just gives you a nice, you know, reflective, like something sort of reflective of your lens. So a uh, pretty brilliant single plugin on its own, just that. So Red Giant is the way to go. Um, track Code is absolutely to die for. So if you open up Track Code, basically it's a part of the simulation tool. Um, and now the latest trap code has got an effects builder, so you can open up your effects builder and you can basically create um, your own um, particles to add into your projects. Things like smoke streams, fire, anything that revolves around um, particles, um, you can basically create yourself uh, within this program. So, you know, if you had to have any plugin whatsoever, out of all of them, I would say. This is the one to go for in particular. Really, really is fantastic. So let me just cancel that and come out of here. Come out of that. Now moving on, obviously there is a lot of Red Giant plugins available. Um, so I do recommend you go over to the Red Giant website, take a look at them, look at their videos and tutorials and so on. Uh, Red Giant do an amazing job of um, doing a tutorial for each of the plugins they have basically just showing you how to use them and so on and so on. So now scrolling down we have Video Copilot which is obviously one of my faves. Um, things like optical flares, heat distortion and 
Enema 3D are the biggest ones here. Um, Enema 3D has gone from strength to strength, and you know, I really enjoy um, using Enema 3D. Um, you can basically add 3D objects uh, to your scene, you've got planes, uh, so on and so on, so I can create an environment with this, click OK, um, and basically add a plane to my scene uh, as I see fit with the camera. Um, and then I have, you, probably, you guys probably will know this anyway, so let's go to home, I don't know if I'm pushing my computer right here, there we go. Um, yeah, so, you know, Element 3D is sort of definitely the way to go um, if you want some really cool uh, 3D imagery. I can give you an example. Another big one is optical flares. Optical flares, I, I couldn't see myself not using optical flares. I use it on a daily basis um, quite a lot. Basically, it's a light generating tool to generate optical flares, basically. Uh, um, you've got a complete interface um, as well, plus um, presets that you can buy like this, so you can add some really beautiful optical flares to your scene, which are all animatable. Um, and you can track to them and so on and so on. So, obviously, another big one you want, without a shadow of a doubt, if you're an After Effects user, you know, Element 3D is the way to uh, Sorry, not all players, is the way to go. So, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this quick little overview of some of my most favourite plugins um, for After Effects. Uh, please remember to like and subscribe. Um, if you're not subscribed to the channel and obviously you know After Effects is only limited by your creative mind so technically you don't really need plugins but it all depends how far you want to take your project or take your realism to or basically the realistic realism um, of your project so as always guys thanks for listening please remember to hit that like button and that subscribe button if you're not subscribed to the channel and I will definitely catch you guys in the next one. Ciao, ciao.